Hi, I'm Yanita Garza, stylist at VeryPashmina.com. In this video, I'm going to show you 10 different ways for tying your diamond weave pashmina shawl. So you want to go ahead and grab the shawl, and I'm going to put it over our lovely model Carla here. And the first way, I'm just going to wrap it around her shoulders like this, and I'm going to lift her arms, and I'm going to have her turn around so you can see. I'm going to tie it right here. You can do a knot or you can do it loosely. I'm going to do it loosely because it's easier to take off. And this is a nice bolero type jacket. But it's made with a shawl. And that's our first way. On to the second. I don't have to fold it fancy. I'm just going to grab it like this. And I'm going to throw it around her neck and then bring one right over the shoulder and another right over the shoulder. And it could be worn like this or another variation would be to simply tie it. Or you can also tie it this way. All while it's wrapped around her neck. This is a great casual way to wear it. Jeans, t-shirts, perfect. And a third way, again, I'm gonna grab it like this. I'm gonna wrap it around Carla's neck. And we're actually going to do links all the way down. So we tie, tie it a little loose. We tie it again as if we're gonna tie a knot, but we don't pull it too high, so it leaves a little link. And you can leave it like that, or you can create another link. And you can go as far down as you'd like. And these are the links on your pashmina. On to the fourth, what we're gonna do is we're going to open it up so you see all the room that this has, that the shawl has, and we're going to link it up as if you would a halter top, and you're going to tie it right here. I'm going to have you turn around, Carla, so they can see. Just tie a little knot on your pashmina shawl, and you can just have it drape. Because of the edging and the drape on this fabric, this looks great. Now you can do this with a cashmere sweater thrown over it, a blazer thrown over, or just like this so that you could see the drape. It's kind of bib style. And for the fifth one, we're just gonna go ahead and we're gonna play a little bit with the drape of it. And we're gonna bring it completely open. We're going to twist it and turn it over the shoulder. And just open it up here so it kind of covers up the sleeve and you see the nice twist in it. You don't have to do any fancy ties. It actually drapes beautifully in the back as well. Then if you wanted a little bit different, you didn't want this hanging so low, you can drape it back that way as well. So it just sits on the shoulder and you see nothing but twists and twists. This is a great way to wear your shawl on an evening out. Another way to tie your shawls, we're going to fold it in half, just like that, and then we're going to fold it kind of like into a diamond because it is rectangle. You're going to see two little points, and you're going to tie it right along the neck. So this one's more folding rather than tying, and it's just a little simple tie, and you can let it drape like this. For a more western style, tie it a little tighter and you have more of that western scarf look except it's cut in half because you're working more with a rectangle instead, instead of your typical scarf. Another way to tie it is we're actually going to keep wrapping it around.
and then we're going to bring it around the other way. We're going to do a little knot right at the edge. And then you just pull at the fabric so it gets bigger and bigger and fuller. And if you don't want the knot right there, you can always twist it around and put the knot in the back. And the more that you play with it, you'll never get it the same way each time. The more that you play with it, the drapier it looks and the fuller it looks. Now this works great with a higher top so that you really don't see any skin, maybe more of a longer sleeve. This is more for, for cooler weather, fall going into winter. Another way to tie your shawl is to loop it through and by that I mean here's the loop and we're actually looping the fabric through and then we're going to take one and we're going to loop it through again just off the top and pull it and then tie this into a little knot. So you have a really intricate knot right at the neck and it's just a loop through with a knot. Now here's a really fun way to tie your shawl. We're going to open it up and at each end we're going to make a knot right at the corner. Just like that. Then at the other end we're going to make another knot. So we have two knots at the end. Then we're going to tie it right around her neck. So in the back, it looks like three pretty little knots. So now you have the three little knots in the back and you have all this extra drapage. So what you want to do is you want to take it and just twist it around, throw it right over the neck again. And now you have a beautifully draped and hung shawl. Now this one's one of my favorites. It's a little more intricate, but the outcome is beautiful. I hope you enjoy. For more styling tips and to view all of our shawls, please visit us at verypashmina.com.